Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Due to heavy rainfall in Western Armenia, a number of roads are closed. The Holy Ajmiadzin appears to international structures to save the Armenian monuments of Artsakh. Mardin's historic mansion in Western Armenia has become the focus of foreign investors' attention. Saro Saroyan, Turkey's top task is to get rid of Armenian issue. The community center of Tsovatakh settlement has been reconstructed. Today is the anniversary of this of heroine's mother, Sose. Employees of the One Territorial Administration of Western Armenia are continuously working on the opening of roads, closed due to the last week's snow and blizzard. There have been a lot of traffic accidents and intercity roads have been closed to traffic for a long time. Traffic police officers carried out active snow cleaning at the Kurubash Pass at a height of 2,225 of the Van Hakari Road at the 3,000 Karapet Pass on the Van Bakhchesarai Road at the Tondrak Pass connecting Chaldran. Snow removal work continues around the clock. The Azerbaijan authorities have recently launched another anti-Armenian initiative. According to the Settlement of Minister of Culture, a working group of specialists of Albanian history and architecture has been formed in Azerbaijan, consisting of local and foreign specialists, whose goal is to remove false traces left by Armenians from the so-called Albanian religious temples. The Holy Age Medicine strictly condemns this initiative of Azerbaijan authorities and qualifies it as an anti-human and anti-civilizational action. The Armenian identity the of the Christian shrines of Artsakh, which have come under the control of Azerbaijan, is a scientifically confirmed reality and cannot be disputed within the framework of reasonable and objective thinking. The Holy Ajmazin appeals to all countries involved in the settlement of the Artsakh conflict, first of all to the OSCE Miss Group co-chair countries to prevent and suppress such manifestation of vandalism. The historical mansions of city of Mardin in Western Armenia have become the focus of attention of foreign investors. They are mainly interested in Sweden, France and England, and the Germans are most interested. Mardin's historic mansions rich in monoculture mosaics are being restored and transformed into hotels, restaurants and business centers. Historical mansions are already being put up for sale in a process of restoration. The owner of the company, Serkin Ajar, says in Mardin city is a city of with numbers cultures and does continue his Word. There are different mosaics in the territory of Jewish, Armenian, Esran, and Muslim. We see it more clearly and clearly in the local structures. Each nation has left its mark in stone inscriptions. For example, on many houses for the first date it marked with Armenian inscriptions. Then these houses passed to the famous families of Mardin, who lived here for 25 and 18 years. And now we are strengthening the foreign investor. On Western Armenia TV, political scientist Saro Saroyan analyzed the internal and foreign policy pursued by Republic of Armenia, which concerns all Armenians. He touched upon the recognition of genocide of Armenian people by the U.S. president, who, according to him, mixed the cards of Turkey since the Trump administration was more profitable for them. He also spoke about the recent events of the release of Armenian captives and their return to Armenia, which of course have political overtones. To some extent, this is also a compromise for Aliyev's points of view concerning eight captives of war to receive French investments. With the generous support of the Armenian Medieval Foundation of the USA, the General Armenian Charitable Union of Switzerland, and on the initiative of the Tumfenkan Charitable Foundation, the community center of the village of Tovater in the Martin region of Republic of Artsakh was reconstructed, where a medical center and the celebration hall are also located. According to the head of the community, Savel Abrahamian, the community center was located in a building of the former village. On the pages of history of liberation struggle of the Armenian people, the Hajduk movement occupies an important place. Among the prominent representatives of this movement were Rodnik, Serob, Haray, Andrani, Gevor, Chavush, and others. The source Serob, however, did not fight alone with the enemy, but with his wife, the heroine Sose. Sose's mother was born in 1865 in the village of Sohort in the Turuberan province of Western Armenia. At the age of 13, she married the famous source of the future Fidai Serob. Sose's mother participated in the Hajduk battles for which the people concentrated here in the honor of mother. In 1898, after the fight in Babshen together with Serob, she settled in Sasun. In 1899, 2,000 Turkish soldiers and corps designed the village of Gelguzan, where Serob took refuge with his family and 12 Fidains. 
In an unequal struggle, her husband's son, Sose, and brother Serop died. Sose, taking her husband's gun, continued to fight bravely and was wounded. After the upspring in Sasun in 1904, Sose's mother moved to one and then to the Caucasian. His other son, Samson, died in Karin during the pogroms. Sose's mother died on February 20, 1953. Now the musical part, Armenian folk song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.